I'm sick of it. Oh, shit. I'm sick of what? It. It in general. All, All right. the shit. Do we wear headphones? If you want to. Mm. I'm going on a makeup strike. What do you mean? 30 days, no makeup. This is no makeup? No makeup. 30 days. No heat on my hair and no makeup. You're beautiful. So that I can like my face yeah. again. You're really beautiful. Thank well, you. you hated it with makeup on? I hate it with or without. So it's not helping. So I hate it. I hate my face too. <laughs> Wait, a nice face. I hate my. We face. all hate our faces. With or without hair, with or without the chins, I hate. I it. hate it too. Really? It's because you get sick of looking at it yeah, all the time. Also, I much. yes, we all look at ourselves in a way other people do not look at us. Which like would that. be so nice to not Except look for at yourself. Grandma, she looked at you like. <laughs> she looked at you like. Oh, this. let me tell you what happened yesterday. <gasps> We went to go you guys get margaritas. have so many stories. I love it. Yesterday, yesterday yeah, was I'm my sorry. first day of no Are we makeup. recording? Uh, Wait, are we? Yeah. yeah. Yesterday was my first day of no makeup. Mm -hmm. I did this whole thing. Like, I'm just going to, I'm doing this exercise and self-love. Fuck the comments. It doesn't even matter anyways. I'm focusing on stand-up. I'm not even going to do my makeup. I'm going to be so focused. That's my idea behind it. I go out to eat with Sarah. We get margaritas. She gets ID'd and I don't. <laughs> No. -uh. First day. First day. First day. First time it's ever happened. Put to us 15 in our years on. <laughs> Put no. 15 years on. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't it happen? Yeah. No, it happened, and I was and like you waiting. Questioned it. Because uh, I was like. Why did he ID you. Because I was like waiting for him to ID everyone. He just singled me out and said me, and then over. I was like, okay, and then them too, right? And then you didn't. And you didn't. Welcome to the club. Welcome to the club. Honey, I have injections in here. Do you? You'll never know if I'm happy or but sad. I, your eyes are moving. Your eyebrows are moving. Sort of. See, my daughter already has me going. We already go to yeah, Sephora. She's moving her eyebrows, but it feels like a deadlift. <laughs> Do you yeah. have any? Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You fucking driving your feet into the floor so hard to lift your eyebrows. Yeah. It's <laughs> not easy. Do you um do you have injections and stuff? Mm -hmm. Am I allowed to ask? You do. So when that stuff goes away, will you redo that, or is that part of the I, no makeup well, stuff to, as well? I don't know. I mean, I really like it. <laughs> you just panicked out. I just panicked out. <laughs> like, I mean, I, I mean <laughs> but we have a membership, Kim. A lot of the you have a punch card. <laughs> A lot of the uh, <laughs> what are our punch cards? <laughs> we're three set. We're three punches away. Logo. <laughs> and we're three ads down with no lip filler. <laughs> uh, I've, I've, been, I've been Sephora now. My daughter is nine, and her and her friends are all. She's like, "Can we go in there?" I'm like, "We can go in there." And I go in there with her, and oh, I'd love to see you in. Oh Sephora. my god, I got. So here's what's really cute was this. Um, there's a black lady probably in her late twenties. I'm guessing. And she turns around and she goes, Ryan Sickler? And I was like, no way. <laughs> you got she recognized. Because of all places to meet you in the Sephora. <laughs> but I was by myself because my daughter was just like an aisle over here. No. <laughs> so she thought I was just roaming in there. I'm like, no, 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 no. There's my daughter over there. She's like, I love your show and stuff. I was like, thanks. Yeah, Sephora. Sephora did me right. Yeah, you know what? But I'm the worried filler, about that. The filler I might keep, but for me, the makeup <laughs> and the hair... Like, it's just, like, it takes so much time. It's an art project. It's an art project every day, and you never feel like it's perfect, and you fucking scrub it off, and you go, we'll try again tomorrow. And it's like this sick... <laughs> it, it is. It's this sick... It is that... We'll try sick, again tomorrow. Maybe sick, tomorrow it'll be better. like sad clown shit. It, it is. I'm like... It it's, is. And you see, and you're and you're online, and you see girls who obviously, or maybe don't. I don't know. I'm not going to be a hater. Have filters, and they look so beautiful, and their skin's so clear, and it's glowing, and and they're. It's too much. I'd be the worst. It's too much. I don't and then you. you're I feel surrounded. Like I see women do shit where, like, you remember when Bob Ross used to paint, and you're like, I could totally do that tree. Yeah. And yeah. you cannot do yeah. that fucking tree. Yeah. You know what I've I mean? I've done it three times. Yeah. And I'm like, I could do that pine tree. Yeah. Like, no, you fucking can't, yeah. bro. You know, try to do that on your face. Yeah. I would hate it. I would I would hate myself. That's what it's like. And some yeah. of those girls are they they're Bob Ross. They can that's, that's their talent. Yes. That's their yeah. skill. Like well, they've been doing it since they were seven. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So like my skincare routine at seven, it's like you don't even need a skincare routine. You know bitch. what? The when my skin was the best was when I wasn't doing anything to it. My skin in college was so clear, and I was drinking alcohol and falling asleep with my makeup on. And now that I've have this whole routine, it's a, it's a scam. Everything's a scam. They I'm try just, to everything. Look at me. I'm letting Mother Nature just. Hold me down and fuck my face all at once. <laughs> Just let it happen. You get, but you're a man. You're a man. You aged. Well, hold on. I used to dye my hair. 
So I was insecure because I'll tell you why. But it's different. It might be different, but still. The gray hair is not like. When my gray hair came in at first, this was still all dark. I looked like Paulie Walnut. Remember <laughs> I, him from Sopranos? No. You know, the guy had the white sides. That's what I looked like. And I was like, we ain't rolling like that, dude. Okay. Like, what's his name from the Fantastic Four or whatever? That white sides. And I was Wait. like. Nah, well, why? Poly, like, but men, but men well. get hotter as they age. I mean, that depends but on I your preference, I also think women think. do get more beautiful look, as they right age. There. No, look, no, That's no. what my hair looked like if I, I I had it like that. It was like skunky. So I would dye the sides with still like, um, like a gray in it, but just not all gray until the top grayed enough that it looked... <laughs> <laughs> respectful <laughs> enough to go out in public like that. That's crazy. It was like two years. I okay. I'm going to start. I'm going to officially start the podcast. Okay. Welcome to This Bitch with Sarah Weinshank and Kim Congdon. Another episode of This Bitch Podcast. I'm Sarah Weintank. I'm Kim Congdon. <laughs> and today's point. guest is the one, the only comedian, Ryan Sickler. Thank you for having me, ladies. Thank you Thank very you. much. Already having a great time. Oh, right? man. Sarah, you're so funny, too. You are. Why? <laughs> I needed to officially start. Yeah, I no, need, I get you it. Know. You're you are definitely the biz. You yeah. <laughs> I know who's sending the invites. Yeah. I know who's going to be on the call. Yeah. Yep. It's me, bitch. It's yeah. you. Guess what? I'm going to be on the calls, and I'm not going to miss an intro. That's for sure. And now we're here, baby. And now we're here. <laughs> Happy Monday, motherfuckers. Happy Monday, motherfuckers. It's Monday morning with Ryan Sickler, one of our best buddies. That's. I haven't seen you in quite some time. Yeah, it feels like we're not Sarah even friends anymore. Night. I know. Actually. I almost cried when I hugged you. No, you didn't. I know. You weren't even close. <laughs> there was no, you weren't even close to tears. You are like, <laughs> no, you gave me a hug and you are like, Did we you? got time for a joint. <laughs> <laughs> Say it again. <laughs> we got time for a joint. <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> this is my impression of Brian Sickler answering the phone. <clears throat> How you doing? Yeah, that is exactly what he yeah. sounds like. Pretty good. <laughs> that is pretty, pretty good. good. Can, you do, can you do my voice? No, I'm nervous. Your... Do it, do it. Come, on, it. No, Come on, you got it. Just close your eyes. Close your eyes. Can you give her a sentence? Put yourself, yeah. Hey, give me, a, Hold on. Give me also, a sickler sentence. Before that, we need a sickler scenario. <laughs> okay. Where are we? Um, I'm <laughs> calling you back to confirm that I'm going to be coming to do the podcast. And the sentence is, um, how you doing, Sarah Weinshank? Okay. Ready? Yeah. How you doing, Sarah Weinshank? <laughs> 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 Why did I do it now? You did. You, you, voice. you sounded like a private investigator <laughs> in the 1950s. <laughs> How you doing, Sarah? How you doing, Sarah, Sarah Weinshank? I can't. You sound like you were solving a mystery in a movie. You're making me overthink it. You're making me overthink it. Uh, my sickler is not as tight as her sickler. I'm sorry. I've been focusing okay. on other things besides. Yeah, hey, hey you know what they call me? The tighter sickler. <laughs> 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 they call me the tiger. <laughs> Sorry, you're, you've moved. <laughs> we don't have a sister in my family, so I guess you could take that one. <laughs> it's all brothers in my family. I mean, just by by uh, you know by proxy, you get that one. Yeah, probably. maybe. Yeah. That's really nice of you. <laughs> Unless any of your brothers are doing hmm? bussy kegels, then what? What? Is that, just, a, is that a ball bag Kegel? Is that what you're, <laughs> a bussy Kegel? I don't know. I don't. Is that something that Sarah and I don't know about that you know about? Do you know what a bussy is? A butt, Sarah? Oh. Yeah, a butt pussy. Yeah, a butt pussy. I don't a like it. A bussy Kegel. Oh, Put it together. Yeah. yeah. I see. <laughs> People do bussy I, I, Kegels. I, I had to do I took it. it too far. No, yeah. I, I did I just, too. I had to think about it. I had to like think a, about it too. I said I think I could do one. Oh, yeah, we're all doing. It's a bussy. bussy Kegels. I don't. I don't it's like. I don't like the name bussy. It makes me feel weird. Bussy Kegels. I don't like bussy it. Bussy bothers me more bussy. than like. Bussy. Get a gorilla grip. Yeah. Bussy. Yeah. Grinder. A get a gorilla, gorilla grip. Bussy. bussy. With I these don't know. Butt I can't Kegel exercises. Look, they crashed the site. So many people wanted them. They crashed the site. It was Grinder. It was too popular. 
Oh my god. Hilarious. Okay, guys. There it is. The but, asshole of a male. That's dad, I just I wrote like. an honest definition of bussy on Urban Dictionary. Dad, where is my dad? <laughs> All right. By crispy cum sandwich. <laughs> okay, okay. This was a journey I didn't want to take. Do you know what your name is on Urban Dictionary, Sarah? What? Urban Dictionary has like definitions for different names. Let's yeah, I've seen the wine shank. It's Oh, there's a the wine most amazing girl in the world. She is unique, beautiful, understanding, I, kind, and loving. She's every guy's dream girl. That's that girl me. is perfect in every way. Her must, her name must be Sarah by Soccer Player 19. Yeah. That's a good one. And come it's got on, a come lot on of support. It better on be it. that nice. Let's see. Kim. A smart, awesome girl who will be a loyal, great, and sweet friend. She'll trust you completely, and you can trust her. That is not true. <laughs> She's smart, but not too trusting with people. Yeah, you just said I'll trust you, but then I'm not uh -huh. trusting. This is what they say. You're a double talker. <laughs> She's smart and trusting with people who will use her or be mean to her. <laughs> That's nice. That doesn't seem Oh, okay. Mean. I see. Humble, but don't show off. No makeup. No makeup for my... <laughs> Does it say no makeup? No. no. Says, says the tighter sickler no. right there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> says that. Shyness. She'll be your BFF through her shyness. She's definitely not shy. No. Let's, I could use a shy game. BFF. Can you put in Ryan? Let's do it. Let's, Let's see it. what this is. A guy who likes to read his own name on this <laughs> website. <laughs> Oh, I'm Ryan. Dude. We both already know that. Keep being a Ryan, Ryan from Ryan. Being a Ryan is fucking great. We're so funny. Ryan the comic. Wow. Did you submit your own urban no. dictionary? Yeah. I know how to spell your great up there. So oh, that is not me. That is funny that it's Ryan the that comic. Is ridiculous. That is weird. <laughs> I can't believe we're this deep into urban dictionary. Well, now we know. Yeah, we do. I'm done, dude. I'm fucking done. It's over already? It's over. We'll see you, Kim. <laughs> Goodbye. We'll, we'll take Enjoy it from that. here. Goodbye. I that. Last Just episode, Did you miss an outro? Go ahead and send her no, out. No, I don't miss an outro. No. Yeah. All right, what are your credits? <laughs> Whoa, are we leaving? No, if you're going to leave, you got to plug. <gasps> She's ready for me to go. Last episode, go. I said I was moving, and her response was bye-bye. Wow. <laughs> Because I've been it? knowing that she's going to move. Oh, you know I what see. I mean? Yeah. To her, it's you're old behind, news. You're BTS. It's old there, news. Right. She's yeah. just like, I got over it. Bye-bye. Oh, What's the zip code down there? <laughs> <laughs> What's the, I'll send you some snail mail. Yeah, send me some old school. I don't think, send me a postcard. I had to send mail Yeah. recently. And in, in front of the people, I had to pull up how to an, address an envelope. What do you mean? Like where to put everything. You had yeah. to help someone do that? No, I had to Google it. You don't know, you know how, how to address an envelope? <laughs> I, can't, I couldn't that. remember if my name went in the front or the top left. Hold which on, hold one on. it was, for yeah. sure. Can, can we have them guess? Oh, I know I how to address an envelope. I, <laughs> I can tell you. I don't not, need to yeah, guess I know how to okay, address hold on. an envelope. If I'm thinking about it, when I get it, my name is in the big part, I think. Well, that's and their name is in the corner. It. Yeah, so then I should so put my is, name in the corner. If you're male, and it. give the big name to the the guest. From the guest of honor two. gets the big name. Yeah, Good where's the stamp go? Uh, upper right hand corner. <laughs> okay. Right. Okay. Yeah. I know how to do it. I just have to Google to make sure I don't reverse those. And where's the little gay sticker go that holds the envelope closed? The back. <laughs> the bussy. The bussy of the envelope. <laughs> <laughs> the low, the low the bussy, bussy stamp, uh, the wax bussy stamp. Yeah. On the back. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> do you know how to write a check? Yeah. You do? Kind of. Did you see? It? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're all in line by. Let me I see a blank check. Let me see a blank check. She day. knows how to write so a mad. check. She's playing dumb now. No, I really. Okay, so this is where I get. Confused. I could write the check for you, sweetie. That's that's where I shine. Okay, so pay to the order of it's whoever I'm paying. Mm -hmm. And then the dollars, I yeah. write it out, the number. So mm -hmm. if it's like $279.86, and then I do... This is this is crazy. Mm -hmm. Then I do something over like a hundred or something. The cents, the cents, eighty six category, eight, dude. You know that eighty six over a hundred. Yes, if it's eighty six. And then the date, and then memo. I'd be like for this, uh -huh. and that's my signature. Okay, very good. This is. <laughs> Very good. But you know what? I wasn't sure about the sense. I know. That's the part I we, get confused on. Yeah. <laughs> we can tell. We can tell. Well, I haven't written that many. By the you shouldn't okay. ever be doing this ever again. 
A lady was in front of uh, my daughter and I at the fucking grocery store the other day writing a check, and my daughter's like, what's she doing? I was like, and I'm starting to lose my shit. Like, writing you, you a ain't check? You believe what she's doing right now. <laughs> she's writing a fucking paper check. She's like, what? And I'm I'm peeking at first. And you were probably sure in a hurry like, that welfare. day, weren't you? Yeah, and she was also one person. I'm like, well, we're going to get in this line. Always. Fucking Imagine writing a open check. Open her purse and dinosaurs are crawling out. And she's like, I'm going to write a check. We're like, no, you're not. I don't even think the lady at the register knew how to process it. You know what I mean? Writing a check. Are you old enough roses? to remember the credit card? I remember card that. Slider? Yeah, I remember yeah. that. When it was just a carbon copy and yeah. you put it in and go. Sh- and there was papers. Yeah. You get like mm-hmm. a copy of a pa- yellow and pink. Yeah. Yeah, I remember those. Yellow and pink. I remember the food stamps. There were papers too. You had food stamps? It came in a book. Yeah. We had, um, see, we were we were, did not have money either. We had free lunch tickets. Did you ever have free lunch tickets? Yes. What were those? I don't think they were tickets though. I think I was just like on a list. That the school had for poor kids. A list. We had to go in a different line than everyone else, though. Yeah. So it was a different was, line. It was humiliating. So the way it worked for our school, <laughs> high school is the way I remember it the most, was you would get a ticket, like a fucking carnival ticket. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, just like they went yeah. to the fucking Joy of Fabrics and bought a real one. You know <laughs> yeah. I mean? The ticket just said poor on it. It was just like <laughs> poor kid. And so you, you would have to get there in the morning, and you'd have to go get in line with the kids that had money to get breakfast. Okay. And that's where you'd have to go get your ticket. So I'm standing in line with everybody that can afford croissants and orange juice and shit like that. So I go get my free ticket. You <laughs> yeah. Know? And you get to the register and they're like, here's your free ticket for lunch. Okay. Then you come through with everybody and everybody sees you hand your what feels like the fucking price is right check. You know what I mean? When you're handing it over. Like, no, because it's so everyone's big. watching you. Everyone's watching you and you're handing this green ticket in and then you go sit out there with your free fucking lunch. Dude, they put us in a different line. <laughs> that's no, fine. that's so funny. I'd have us- rather done that. Because <laughs> no. you have camaraderie no, over there. Because you know what? The, the, the Okay, and they had the be- the food that wasn't free. It was sick how good it was. It what was do you like, mean? Like it prime was, rib? Dude, no, it looked like, okay, <laughs> prime our, rib. our prime school rib. looked like the inside. stone crab falls down. <laughs> like, God. You hear people cracking? Yeah. They pull out their crackers. <laughs> 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 you crackers here? <laughs> Sushi. Yeah. Dude. Is Jimmy Buffett sitting down there? <laughs> There's live man. music over there. <laughs> live music? There's live music in that line. <laughs> Not the poor people. Lie. Honey, we were having Thanksgiving dinner on Thursdays. <laughs> um, yeah, but they put the the good the good food on the edges, and then the poor line in the middle, uh, which was nah, weird too. You put guys have to go edge. through the middle. Yeah, put us on the that edge. Sucks. Don't make us publicly get humiliated. Yeah, they put us in the middle, and then in the right would be like the fries and chicken tenders. That one was popular, and then there's a pizza spot, and then I think there was like a burger spot. We just had nuns who made hot dogs. What? What? Yeah. <laughs> Every day was the same. Wednesday thing. seems so they sexual would, like, for boil, nuns. Uh, they, they, make, boil, they probably uh, love that. Dude, they would boil. They were definitely fucking your hot dogs. They, they weren't allowed boil. to have sex, and they were constantly making hot dogs. They were constantly making hot dogs. <laughs> Hold on. They were boiling hot dogs. And they boiled them. They were. Uh, and the whole hall would smell like hot dog. Ugh. And I hated it. Like by the end, because I went to school there, kindergarten through eighth grade. So by eighth grade, I couldn't even walk in the hot dog hall without gagging, because I was like, it smelled like so specific. Like, like hundreds of boiled hot dogs. Ew. We had from nuts. like they would give you like different things Monday through Friday with a main like main course whatever. So I don't remember what they all were, but tacos were Tuesday, pizza was Friday. There'd be something on like a Thursday, like maybe a uh, a steakum sandwich or something. But you always had the option to mm-hmm. go get a cheeseburger with fries and a hot dog okay. if you didn't like what the. You know, oh yeah, they Salisbury have... Steak Day or whatever. You could always go get a burger. They had that too. Yeah, yeah. We didn't have that. Can I tell you a story about a food what? fight we had in high school? That yeah, was, I've told this on my podcast. A but real it's, food fight. It's the greatest fucking thing I've ever seen or been a part of in my life. <laughs> and it goes to this day too. That's what's really crazy. Hi guys, let's take a break from the podcast to talk about our newest sponsors. It's Mint Mobile. With big wireless providers, what you see is never what you get. Somewhere between the store and your first month's bill, the price you thought you were paying magically skyrockets. With Mint Mobile, you'll never have to worry about gotchas ever again. 
When Mint Mobile says $15 a month when you purchase a three-month plan, they mean $15 a month. That's the kind of business I like. I don't know about you, but I've had really bad experiences with cell phone carriers. It happens all the time. You you buy something, you go into a business, you sign a contract, and they always have these hidden fees and hidden prices. I was with AT&T for a while. Lots of fees, lots of upcharges. You never know what, how much your bill is going to be. Every month is somehow different. Sometimes it's more, sometimes it's less. There's hidden fees. So say goodbye to overpriced wireless plans, jaw-dropping monthly bills, and unexpected overages. Mint Mobile is here to rescue with premium wireless plans starting at 15 bucks a month. All plans come with high-speed data and unlimited talk and text delivered on nation's largest 5G network. Use your own phone. I like this because I don't like giving up my phone. Use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and bring your phone number along with all your existing contacts. I'm using Mint Mobile right now. They sent me a SIM card. It's so easy to use. Just $15 a month when you purchase a three-month plan. You can ditch overpriced wireless with Mint Mobile's deal and get three months of premium wireless service for just $15 a month. To get this new customer offer in your new three-month premium wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month, go to mintmobile.com slash this B. That's mintmobile.com slash this B. Cut your wireless bill down to $15 a month. Imagine what you could spend that extra money. Also, um, there's a $45 upfront payment required, which is equivalent to $15 per month. New customers on first three-month plan only. Speed slower above 40 GBs on a limited plan. Additional taxes, fees, and restrictions apply. See Mint Mobile for details. All right, guys, let's get back into the podcast. So at the time, I'm in 11th grade. I'm a junior in high school. I don't know why, but every time you start telling a story, that thing that happens in movies that goes like this... (laughs) I literally hear it go like, yeah, yeah. and then it goes into like painting I, a picture. Yeah, you really paint a picture. Go on. That's nice of you. By the way, you two totally would have hung out with us. We were the kids that didn't have parents in high school, and oh, everyone yeah. came to our place, and you guys would have been over there with everybody. It would have been 20, 20, 30 people. Nonstop. I would have been like, my mom wants to know if she can come drink with us. Like, <laughs> Tell your mom no. <laughs> Then your mom comes over and starts fighting our yeah, friends. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Why like, not? Like, Kim, come on, man. Get your mom out of here. <laughs> okay. Oh, Kim's mom's here again. <laughs> she would be. She brought the beer. She brought the beer. All right. She can stay. Okay. Okay. Um, so. Okay. So this is, it's the fall. It's probably October, November. So school hasn't, has not been in session too long. We start in September, right? Back when I went to school, it was the Monday after, or the, excuse me, the Tuesday after Labor Day is when we started our session of fall. And I'm a junior at the time. And um, there's rumors and rumbling going on for weeks that there's going to be a food fight during our food, uh, our lunch, because the lunches were broken up into like fourth period sucked because you were eating lunch at like 1045, you're like, fuck that. And then there would be a fourth, fifth, sixth. So you'd have lunch different times, but every oh, day. Oh, hell no. Yeah. The, I need lunch at the same time. I need That's lunch at saying. the same time. I don't, time. Need, I don't want a rotating pick. lunch. Oh, you didn't get to pick. Fuck, dude. No, no, you're getting it at the same time, but you could get for all of your junior year. You oh, get yes. That's how it was for too. Yes. And you're like, fuck that early 1045 because the rest of your school day is still left. Yeah. You want to push it a little bit, get that like one to two, and then you're yeah. like, we got an hour. Yeah, because you're like, you're sleepy for the first four hours. It don't even count. Yeah. So. So we're hearing rumblings of this food fight's going to go. And we're the early, we're the like 1045 lunch. Mm-hmm. And our high school cafeteria was tiered. So you would, where you would walk the classes up here is sort of where it would start. And it would be a little stairwell down to one floor, another one down to a middle floor, and then a third stairwell down to like the big bottom floor where the food was and all that, you okay. know. And we're sitting on the top tier. And for weeks, everyone's been, you know, Fucking food fight, food fight. Yeah, we're, we're going to be today. Do the today. teachers know? It's going to be teachers today. Know it's in the, it, I think at this point now, because it had been talked about for a while, a okay. good month or so, it's Everyone's probably gone back to so Everyone's horny for, for a food, food fight. fight. We all were horny for a food and, fight as kids. Mm-hmm. It's Pizza Friday. <sighs> And we also had milkshakes. Did you guys have milkshakes? No. We had milkshakes. We had nuns making hot dogs, no milkshakes. What the fuck, I'm not saying I got them because I couldn't. (laughs) No. 
<laughs> but they were available. Is what I <laughs> milkshakes mean. is crazy. No, we they never didn't have milkshakes. They we really didn't have did. milkshakes. And they had this little side room too that if you had money, again, you could go get Oreos and Fig Newtons and shit. Like almost like a little snack. Yeah, they shack. had that too. You know what I mean? Yeah. So we're sitting there and there's a, a guy uh, named Mark Penn. He's sitting. What's this table? Not much bigger than this. It's a little bigger. Probably seats eight people, you know. And Mark Penn's sitting right here. And he just looks at me. He's got a chocolate milkshake right here. Now, I'm facing all the levels. And he's got his back to as the levels go down. You know uh -huh. what I mean? And he just looks at me and goes, it's going down today. And I go, <laughs> I go, Why gonna, is my heart racing? I go, you going to do it? And he's like, it's going down today. I go, all right. I started eating my pizza. Next thing I know, he took that motherfucking milkshake and he just stared right at me. And he went, Phew, and he threw that fucking missile. No. And he chucked it hard, too. No. And it went down to the bottom and it hit somebody's table and it just splatted everywhere. And then you just heard, food fight. No. And I mean, you couldn't have scripted it better. We flipped our table. People, it's Pizza Friday. So it's, <sighs> it's, um, Russian dressing on the degree. salad. There's third it's degree corn, burns. Corn yeah. cups, pudding yeah. cups, milkshake. Boom, boom. There's shit hitting the wall. The massive wall sliding no. down. The, the teachers are coming out. The principal's coming out. And people Dude, are just going I'm excited nuts. listening to Going this. fucking nuts, okay? It get, it's mayhem. It is absolutely like a goddamn movie mayhem. We can't even believe. We're all just like, oh my God. <laughs> Just blindly throwing milk cartons over, you know, and you just letting them go that wherever. That sounds so fun. It's fucking nuts. They come in, the fucking principal screaming, shuts us all down. They pull Mark out. I forget. I know he got suspended, and he definitely graduated. He also held his diploma because he was this kid when he went to get... <laughs> <laughs> when he went to get his diploma, he did a pratfall and tried to like yank yeah. with the principal down, and they they held it for like oh, three months. So they held yeah. it, told his parents. Not a pratfall. They held the diploma <laughs> for three months. That's so funny. <laughs> this is bullshit. They I love him. him. Yeah. So a pratfall. They shut it down. Like it's it's a it's like they have to bring in a crew for this. The, the regular janitors that we have at the school are not taking care of shit that's at the top of yeah, the. Yeah, dude, it's it's fucked. massive. So they fucking get on the horn and they let us know that for now on also, no milkshakes are available for no. anybody. Okay, so they hate us. Worth it. Want to hear this? Mm -hmm. I have friends, uh, moms that are married and have stayed in the area that are my age. They have kids who've now graduated. Still no milkshakes no. allowed. Still. No. They shut it down. After that, it was the, at 19 and fucking 90. was the end of milkshakes. <laughs> well, having milkshakes at school is insane. They needed, to shut, it down. they needed to shut it down. So. Michelle, if they didn't, Michelle Obama would have, okay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Clean it up. It was fucking everywhere. And the worst part was we have that early ass lunch and they made us for the rest of the year. We had to have lunch in silence. I'm talking three floors of a cafeteria. No. And our friends would purposely go by to the bathroom and just see us all just sitting down there. You, no. could, you couldn't. Oh, it was only that hour. Yeah, just our lunch was silent through the whole building. And we just had to sit there and... That's sad. <laughs> it must have been more fun, it was, though. It was, it was hard not to laugh. It was hard not but to laugh. But they were monitoring it, man. We got, we got in so much trouble. But, man, I'll never forget seeing him take that thing and just... And I've talked about it on my podcast, and there's guys from high school that have jumped on Facebook like, I was there, so-and-so hit me with a cup of corn. I took a fucking corn to the head. Like, they they're all, it's all true story. Dude, you don't know the card. They see a lote and they get a flashback. <laughs> oh, one of, the, one of my other favorite ones, too. I just remembered this and talked about this. So, again, we're the kids with no parents, so everyone comes to our house okay. from Monday to Sunday to hang out. It's where everybody is. And it's a Saturday night, and our band, our high school band, was having, like, a lock-in at the gym. And we had resentment for the band, not because of the them themselves. They were good people, but our we were really good at sports. Mm -hmm. And our school didn't support sports or arts. It supported the fucking band. Mm -hmm. But to their credit, they would win shit, too. Mm -hmm. They were just, like, the golden child of our school. Mm -hmm. So we were like, fuck the band. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, we're over here doing our good shit. We don't get recognized. Right. They're not, they're not flying the spirit flag for us out front today. Rude okay? as fuck. We just beat the Crosstown Rivals, <laughs> and the band's getting the spirit flag, so fuck the band. So 
He still has beef He's with still the band. Mad by the, the way, band. there's still beef with the band. Got band beef. <laughs> and um, we find out that they're doing a lock in for the whole band in our gym at the high school on like a Saturday night, you know. And they got to leave the doors unlocked for fire hazard and shit. And we all know where the gym is. And the gym is when you pull into the senior parking lot, because they had the main one and then we had our own little senior one over here. When you pull into that one, you just walk this little bridge across and open the door and the gym's like just right in there. Okay. So <laughs> we're all fucking just partying back at our place. And we're like, isn't that band lock in tonight? Like, yeah. And you're like, you know what we should do? We should just fucking go to the grocery store and get a shitload of eggs. And we should just go and egg those people. And we're like, that's what we're going to fucking do. So yes, we drive to the dude. grocery store. We all get eggs. No. And we go in. And it's like 3 o'clock in the morning at this point. And we just open the doors. And we're dying laughing already going oh in. God. Already like, oh, my God. And we just, it's like six of us. We just start chucking eggs into the darkness. You know, here's the thing. You don't, you don't get to see who you hit. You don't get to enjoy it, really. What you, what you hear is, what the fuck's that? What is that? Oh, my God. You know, just hear a cat just oh, noise. And we're, every time you hear someone panic, and you're waking hearing, up. And you're hearing the cracking. Yeah. Yeah. And there's like, there's like 50 of them also. So wherever you throw in the gym, you're hitting somebody. So and there's like five or six. And we're just windmilling. Cha, cha. We're just throwing them in. And we are dying laughing so hard and you hear them start waking up and figuring it out and then we're running out of there and fucking driving back to our place and just like man fuck the band uh, <laughs> you're still mad at the band <laughs> so we were band so, beef we were so, you assaulted the band they were so good do you remember that I say this I got, I'll got. i give them props the, the movie Cry Baby with Johnny Depp do you remember that John yeah. Waters film yeah. yeah there was a scene where there was a high school band in that movie it was, it was our fucking band it was the band that you egged yeah it was no go watch that movie and you can see it the was. band that sits Stickler egg. <laughs> Liberty wow. High School, home of the Lions. Our senior year, they did a prank for, you know, senior year prank or whatever. Yeah. And all they did was bury a bunch of fish in the football field, which was really gross. So and the whole stunk. school smelled like yeah, fish. That's good. Yeah. It was kind of gross. And during the football games, it was fishy. Nobody wanted to go. Did you guys have... Um, so I'm 51 now. Did you have MAD? Was that a thing? Mothers Against, Against Drunk Driving? Drive. Yeah, was that bring even in, still a thing? They bring in like a crash car. Did the moms quit? Oh, yeah. They, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the yeah, they brought like, the car. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm tired. I need a Drew drink. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I need a drink. The moms yeah. need a drink. Moms need a drink. <gasps> yeah, they would, would they bring, bring a mangled car like, and put it on the it. front of the school yes. and be like, some and then teenagers died in that. We're like, what are you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. Drive I forgot by, about like, that. You died in that thing right there. Yeah, don't drink and drive. That's the example. Like, wow. Wow. We had a drug talk one time. This is a good dare? one. Dare? Yeah, dare. Dare came in. Yep. I wanted to fuck my dare officer. Me too. <laughs> Dude, me That's too. Straight on. My dare officer was hot. Officer Cronin. I was like, I'll Damn, never. You know him, huh? Oh yeah, no, he had two German shepherds, and I was like, I'll never yes, do drugs. Yes, the dogs. The dogs did it for me too. The he was. Such a hot man, dude. What I was that? Being was, like, were dare grade, officers like, sexy? Can we pull up some dare officers? Our maybe. dare officer was. We didn't have a dare, so maybe it wasn't there then, because we had a Maryland State Trooper come in. Look, see, they make them fine on purpose. Not all of them. Irvine Elementary School is not a bad one. You want to know who's a good-looking lot? That would have gotten me. I'm comfortable enough in my own Who? skin to tell you who's a good-looking lot of men. Who? S fucking Santa Monica firemen. Oh, no, yeah. the firemen in general around here, hey, it looks like I've a casting call. I've seen them come call. in a few times. I'm like, I used to work on the <laughs> yeah, yeah. like, man, y'all are fucking working out and shit. You look good. Dude, Stay I used to live on a... <laughs> I used to live on a... <laughs> look at them. They're good-looking dudes, man. Oh, sorry. And a chick. Paramedics. Yeah. yeah. Dude, I went to... I used to live on the, like, side street of a fire department in L.A. like four years oh, ago. Oh, I remember. And remember we, we went, went on the we walk? We went on a walk. At, uh, a walk. We went on a... We would go on walks. But if you went on a Sunday... It was the were, hottest thing I've like ever barbecues seen. barbecues out. They're throwing the football in the street. They're just waiting for calls. So they're kind of just hanging out, trying to enjoy their Sunday. Just a gaggle of hot men. And they're like... It you was like... Just dude, yeah. it looked like a porn. <laughs> it really did. <laughs> <laughs> One was like charcoaling his grill. Uh, yeah. They were throwing the ball and they missed, and we had to like throw it back. I was like, are you going to fuck us or no? <laughs> uh, what's happening it here? It was just like the hottest fireman, like at recess. It yeah. Like. Those guys. I went a little feral in front of the fireman in front of my boyfriend the other day. 
at the at mini golf yesterday. I remember. No oh makeup? yeah, the rock. Was climbing. it no makeup day? No makeup day. All right. <laughs> no makeup day. Um, day one. We day had one. it was always a rumor that this, so we had a cop, a state trooper. We had two years of it. A state trooper came in and like. I mean, scared the fuck out of us about drinking and driving. He told us that he was hit by a drunk driver when he was on duty and that because he was so fucked up and so close to death that they had to do all these surgeries without any pain meds or anything, like peeling. He would talk about peeling his skin down. Okay. Right? And we're in the auditorium like, what the fuck? <laughs> And then he would pass this tray of like fake joints around, so that mm -hmm. you knew um drugs, so you knew what quaaludes looked like and like barbiturates. Okay. We would hear about the shit you're, I don't you're, even hear you're, anymore. You're secretly taking. But wait, you'll like this. You'll like this. <laughs> there was a rumor that the senior year before, as the tray went around, when it came back to the cop, there was an extra joint on it. Uh, I, so I, so I put funny. a real one on it and set it back up. And I love that. <laughs> they uh, could never find it. Uh, that so, used to make me laugh so hard. I was like, oh, I want to know who did that. That's really great. That's yeah. really great. <laughs> I remember, I think it was my this kid, Zach Bertrand, that I knew in high school. I think it was him. But to be funny, like our senior year in our TV productions class, we had to do like I was it, in TV production too. Yeah, and the shit we did <laughs> would get aired throughout the school. Like, Same, would air, like our like, like our channel own one or something. Yeah, it was yeah. like our own personal. We had that team. too. Oh. I was like, I'm an anchor. Yeah, yeah. me too. <laughs> Same. And then uh, with the kids all d had to say what they wanted to be the senior year, what, what they wanted to be going into college. And my friend Zach said gynecologist. No, and he, you know, he didn't. And he was like, I just am interested in the female body <laughs> and like just seeing it air on TV. It's so funny when kids like they find loopholes to be pieces of shit at school. I'll never forget the best. Like, I farted on my friend's final. What do you mean? On the test? What do you mean? In TV production. In TV production. <laughs> yeah. I thought you meant you sat on his desk and ripped him <laughs> on a piece of paper. No, even worse. It was this girl that I didn't like. And she left her, she did the one mistake of leaving the her work open. The teacher said, never leave it open because it's your, you have your own password to get in. It's your project. Someone can mess with it. And it was her final. And the teacher goes in and listens to it. You do a montage. You film a thing for the school. You put in an <laughs> audio. And I just recorded myself ripping a fart into a microphone and added it to her audio <laughs> in the <laughs> middle of it because her and the teacher would get to sit down together and... <laughs> <laughs> oh, they sat together. Yeah, and so she's as the her she's final, like, what is that? and she's worked on it, and she's gonna play it like <laughs> and it's just a. Pfft. That's good. Yeah, and she never, I never got caught, but I did fart on her final. You did? Mm -hmm. I don't know if I could just fart on command. Yeah, I could. It wasn't on command. Like it was in the moment. I I saw her final. I was with my friend Brittany. And you're like, I kind of got had nervous. Hard. She got nervous. I saw her it. final, <laughs> and I was like, what should we do to it? And I think I did get a little anxiety. I go, should I fart right now? I need to fart. And I did, and I ripped so a good one. So divine timing. It was a fart from the Lord. <laughs> yeah. Fart from the gods. A fart from the gods. We didn't have anything like that. We had, um, you would get in the homeroom in the morning, and somebody would get all up on here and be like, um, okay, attention, everyone, announcements, and then you would just have to sit and Yeah, listen. in homeroom to yeah. all the announcements. Yeah. And this is what we would hear all the time. Congratulations to the band. Again, <laughs> took first place in the regionals. We will be flying the spirit flag for the band today. No. And <laughs> that's it. We'd be like, did boys soccer, anything, <laughs> football? No. Nah. The band uh, will be <laughs> playing a song and lunch today in the gymnasium. Oh, my God. We also had, did you guys have like any... Um, exchange students that would come in from different places? No. You we did? didn't have it. Yeah, we did. Well, she stayed. Well, you're a public school, right? Wait, yeah. You were, you were We private, didn't have exchange right? students, anyone no. Anyone exchange students? There was no exchange students. Oh, no. hell no. They had those walls up at that <laughs> <Yeah>. school. <laughs> they were yeah, building yeah, walls yeah. before Trump over uh, there. Go see the currency exchange. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we didn't even have that. And it was all girls Catholic was school. It? And then when there was one day a year where the boys would come and it was exchange day and then everyone would look completely different on that day. Like, we were feral because we were at an all-girls school. Wait, we the would, boys would come in for what? They would come in and do, we would have co-ed classes. Why? For one day? For one day. Just of the for week? Fun. I mean, that would no, just, just blow your mind. just one day of the year. Oh. Just one day of the in year. In high school? In high school. When everyone's like their horniest they could possibly the horniest. be. And then like, but up That's until this point, we're all like man. feral at an all-girls school. Like our leg hair is like super long. Everyone's like, eating each other everyone's out. Everyone's fucking disgusting. <laughs> like you didn't care at all what you look like yeah. at school. And then that one day, yeah. everyone evolved into like the most beautiful versions of themselves. Oh, shit. And you're like, whoa, I didn't even know she could look like that. 
Whoa. Yeah, it was crazy, dude. Bitches became different people. You're like... It was like a prom. Yeah. People went It was went the day hard. the boys come. Did you... Well, tell me about your proms. Oh, I, I got drunk at... I went to a bunch. I went to one on a boat. What? A boat prom? That was my first prom. How old were you when you went to your... Were you a freshman? In I was a the, freshman, Going yeah. with a senior? Going with... You little slut. A junior. Uh, your dad d- let you do that? Your dad mom let you do but that? But I thought prom was only for seniors. Senior prom. Mm-hmm. Well, then maybe he was a senior. Or is it junior senior? I thought it was we junior. We only I had feel senior like, prom. See, we... I don't remember. Homecoming I feel like, was for other grades. Yeah. And prom was like just prom for seniors. Was, I feel like ours was a junior My Ours was prom. junior senior. I think it was. I have to ask. Uh-huh. I do believe it was. Um, My first one was on a boat. Oh, maybe... It, and I got wasted. Really? And I had a pink dress and Seems a really dangerous. dark spray t- tan. Yeah. I would always do a spray tan and it was bad. Like level three mystic tan. They call them mystic tans. No, dude. And you got to get sprayed down. She level three. Level I got to see. <laughs> Level three. What are the top I levels? Mystic How dark most. is level three spray? <laughs> no. How many levels are there? Is it three? Three. Yeah. <laughs> there's two. yeah. Kim, there's Whoa. only two. Yeah. Level three is crazy. I would do level three for all the proms, sweetie. Well, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Level I could three. Get canceled. It looks like- <laughs> she could get canceled off the level she is. For her senior prom. <laughs> Fuck, Shank. I know. Uh, I could look for them. I could look for Dude, the prom. Dude, yeah, I have some prom picks. I don't know if I can find what them right now. What about your first one? Um, My first one? Well, first I did prom. homecomings. Mm-hmm. What about prom? Did you? So wait. You're Why do you have a block about prom? Prom only existed <laughs> for remember seniors. It. You didn't have a. You never went to a junior prom either. They didn't have a separate one, or you just had like the one senior prom, and that was it. We had prom, and then we had morp, which is prom backwards, and that was. Yeah. What the fuck are we okay. talking now, about right now? Morp. Morp. What? And that was for a freshman and sophomore. <laughs> That's and sucked. I would go make out at Morp. Yeah, no, I had When you were a junior, you were down <laughs> there trolling him. <laughs> that was a sophomore. If I was in love with this guy, John Paul Malik, and we just made out the whole time at Morp. You were allowed to make out there? I was doing it in the bleachers. It was at the all boys school. Like, well, you got away with more at the all boys school. Yeah, I bet. It was like, oh, yeah, more. Yeah, because the teachers are jerking off watching you. <laughs> and I remember I just made out with him the entire time at Morp. And one of my teachers was chaperoning. And then the next Monday, she's like, Oh, Sarah's here. That's a good surprise. I saw her playing tonsil hockey with John Paul Malik over the weekend. Oh, no. And, like, called me out. Basically slut-shamed me. Uh, no. Sarah Weinshake, please report to the office. Your behavior at Morp was. And uh, let's give You're... credit to the band, guys. The band again. <laughs> Wipe that egg off your they'll cheek be and playing, get out They'll be playing all the hits at Morp tonight, guys. Be safe. Don't drink and drive. Yeah, Morp. Seven people died in the car on the lawn out front. <laughs> and uh, if someone could tell us who put that joint on the state trooper's tray, we'd appreciate it. All right. No milkshakes forever. <laughs> Okay, I remember my prom. There we go. Okay. Okay, I do remember it. We got... Okay, so my friend, I was best friends with this girl all through high school. And I think a little bit of middle school. Yeah, seventh, eighth grade and all through high school. Jessica Blair. And she was so cool and so fun. And she was extremely rich. She was just one of the richest girls in our school, in our town. And was really fun. And we were good friends. And her mom got us a Hummer limo. For prom. Damn. Yes. I think I've told this story before. I actually can't. Those were huge. Yeah. Huge. Yeah. Yeah. Big yellow. Yeah, it was too. when Hummers were like in music videos. And yeah. yeah. And we, at this point, we're 17 years old. So we've been drinking for a couple of years already. And uh, and so we, we're bringing out, we're pre-gaming at the house. They have this huge house on the river by this by this river slash beach. One side's the river, the other's the beach. It is nuts. And, um, and we get in the car and the guy's driving us and we have pictures. I will try and find the pictures so we can pull them up. We have pictures of us like as teenagers drinking, our legs in the air. I'm like sticking my tongue and my, on my friend's tongue, like trying to be hot for pictures, you know, Laguna Beach style. Oh, yeah, senior year. yeah. You're trying to look cool, like this is what you do all the time, but yeah. you're not really part. In between the pictures, you're kind of quiet. Yeah, and you're just going like ah, oh. like, and then in in the rearview mirror, you can see the limo driver's eyes. 
looking back at us and he like is this like bigger, heavier set guy and he just kind of looks pissed. And literally we stopped to eat dinner and when we came out, the limo was gone. We no. took a picture before with the limo driver and we were like flirting with them. We we're like, don't go anywhere. We're all drunk at this point, hammered before we get there. <laughs> he just left you? He left? He, he left and called her mom, was like, I left them at the restaurant. They're all drunk. They're all underage. They're not going to be in my car. And he just left with all our alcohol. No. <laughs> we were pissed about the alcohol. We were like, he stole from us. Yeah. No. Yeah, and left us at dinner. And then her mom owned a daycare and she pulled up in three daycare vans. And no. we went to uh -uh. prom in daycare vans. What was no. the name of the daycare? Uh, I can't remember at all. But yeah, we went. You went to prom <laughs> in a daycare van? Yeah, and we no. had, and the we head start. She got the head up. start vans. Uh, uh, out truly, <laughs> truly, that? hammered, rolling out, hammered. By the way, <coughs> inappropriately drunk at prom. Same. Yeah. So good times. That's crazy. Yeah. I was a freshman, and a senior girl asked me to go to prom, and my mom would not let me, and I was just devastated. No. I was devastated. Well, that's good on your mom. She's no. weird. My mom, my mom wasn't even around uh, ever, and she just she pulled, pulled the, the mom card. Yeah. Wait, why did a senior like you when you were a freshman, though? Mm. Oh. He had a subtle charisma. A subtle a sickler charisma. effect. The sickler effect. <laughs> the eyes, dude. It's in the eyes. <laughs> yeah. I have no idea why. <gasps> That I don't know, nice. but I remember her, and she did, and she really wanted me to go to prom, and I was like, I'm going to prom. Mom's like, well, you ain't going to prom. I, I'm 14, so I don't have, like, I can't be like, fuck you and drive my own car. You know what I mean? Dude, when I was in the fifth grade, yeah, this is going to sound so bad until I explain myself, I had a crush on a third grader, but he had failed. So he was a year older and still on the other the back end I mean, of that also, year. Just so you know, I don't think fifth, fifth and third. Fifth is and a big third is a big deal. difference. Yeah, I, I don't, don't know. So. It's I, eight, elementary it's, school. It's eight. It's it depends on which way you go because he was nine and I was ten, I think, and and because he had failed and he was like on the older age or whatever. But if it's eight and eleven, I don't think it's that. That's crazy. weird. I mean, I don't think in fifth grade, you know, it's that's the grade where they, I remember that being the grade where they separated us to teach us about our genitals and things like that. Do you remember yeah. that? Yeah, they're not doing that with third graders. They no, did, they but did fifth it. grader they are. So yeah. I'm saying a fifth grader and a third grader, maybe. It's different. It's a little different. But he had All failed. Right. He should have been, he should have been in fourth deal. grade and I had a crush on him and he would buy me cookies and he died. Not in what? When he was older. He oh, was older. God damn. Damn, I didn't see that, <laughs> that <laughs> happening, right? I didn't think he was going to drop no, dead in the story. It was such a death. benign, yeah. it was such a benign story. <laughs> <laughs> like that. I was like, no lead up, just dead. Oh. <laughs> anyway. um, Sorry. Did you ever get sent to the principal's office? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Every day. You did? Almost every day. Really? Junior and senior. What would you do? We what the more girl junior? liked and le liked up there and hung out and then start doing shit for him up there. Because mm -hmm. I got sent so much. They were like, mm -hmm. just hang out with us. Yeah. No. Read these papers. Well, because so. I, I would, there's just this teacher that we had it out for each other, to be honest. She I don't want to like, be that teacher. She didn't like me and I don't like <sighs> her. And her name, I don't know if I could say her name. I don't want her to sue me, but you should know it. For Miss the what? what? I was going to say, give us her first letter. <laughs> We got to block that out. <laughs> block it I'm out. clapping okay. for the block. <laughs> um, yeah, so she, she, I just didn't like her and I was just really bad in her class. And I was just being like a class clown and annoying and talkative. And Jessica Blair was in the class with me. The rich bitch? The rich, my mm -hmm. rich best friend. So we were like already like on the weekends going to Vegas with her mom and coming back on like Tuesday because my mom let me miss school oh. too on Monday. And we're like, we went to Vegas for the weekend. Oh, you no. can't tell us what to do. <laughs> we're like a fucking nightmare. <laughs> And she would kick me out every day for just talking and not stopping. And I would sing in her class. And I would sing to Jessica everything we'd would talk about. Sing? Like, I'd be like, do you have a pencil? Oh, you'd sing, okay. Everything, everything I'd do that. And that's how me and Jessica would talk in her class. And she hated it. It was like the thing she hated that we did the most for some reason. It just irked her. 
And we would do it all the time. And then I... Do you have a pencil? Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. You made it a musical? Do we have a pop quiz? No. <laughs> she fucking hated it. And she'd be like, stop! <laughs> Her face would get all red. She just hated us. And she would send me to the principal every day. And then I started uh, whistling and singing in the office. And they had to make a new rule, no singing. And then I became friends. Wait, with you were whistling in the good. office? The whole uh, yeah, time? I was annoying. I was a pretty... I would be so annoyed if some some troublemaker high schooler was whistling while I'm trying to file paperwork. Yeah. You want to know what used to drive me nuts and they're the and these girls are the best at it. Nobody can crack gum like a black girl. <laughs> Nobody. <laughs> and I used to go to community college and I'd be friends with all these black girls and they would sit behind me during and tests and I mean just kr, 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 and I'd be like first I'd be like crack what? First of gum. All, gum. You know, oh, kr, kr, or a Hispanic girl. And I'm like First, first of all, I'm amazed by it. I'm like, how do you Fuck keep you doing do that? It? It's the same piece of gum. It's yeah. well, and it's also Ryan, multiple just roll, cracks. Like, just roll your tongue over and get some air in there. Ryan. Yeah, we <laughs> stopped. We get done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it also always had multiple cracks. It did sound always. it sounded like a fully automatic gun. Yeah, yeah. 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 How did they get multiple bubbles I to don't crack know. Black one girls piece? are the best at cracking gum, and That's I would be so like, I can't funny. concentrate, please. The other thing I used to love to do, like if like you two were like if all of us were friends, mm -hmm. but I would sit in between you and like you would try to pass Kim a note. Yeah. We would try to swat it up toward the teacher. No. Yeah, we would try to be like <laughs> and to bat that thing. You'd be like, because <gasps> who knew no. what it said? Yeah, yeah. And then the teacher's up there like, what is this? And it just, I just put my head down. You're oh like, oh my god, dude. I I remember the teachers would try and read notes out loud. And yeah, they'd start yeah. and then they'd just get quiet. All right, I'm gonna stop. Yeah. <laughs> I could lose my job they if I never, Yeah, I can't even say this out loud. We yeah. used to fuck with each other hard. So do you remember um, the store in the mall, Brookstone? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. The massage chair yeah. store? Yeah, that place. Yeah, up um, until a couple years ago, I'd stop by for a free massage still. <laughs> up until a couple years ago. <laughs> she went last week. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> They're like, Kim, will you please leave? <laughs> my picture's on the wall at Brookstone. <laughs> I have a picture on the wall. Too many massages. <laughs> <laughs> so on the east coast like the winters would be pretty harsh and your door lock would freeze to get in your car mm -hmm. and they had this little thing if you don't mind looking this thing up it's a little it looks like the keys that do today but you press a button and you know the little switchblade key thing comes out but it's just a, a rod and it heats up and you just put it in the key and it thaws the ice so you can open your lock it's okay. out of brookstone right it's like a key heater or something like that. So it just looked just like that, and it would it would heat. Okay. Okay. It would heat up, so you just okay. put it in the keyhole, melt the ice, and then you could put your key in it. Mm -hmm. Okay. But we would sit behind each other, and we would fucking pop that thing out and let oh. that thing cook. And then if you're in front, you know, we're all in rows, we would pull your arm out. No. Yeah. Burn. In the middle of the class, we'd stick it right on that soft no! skin. You know, huh! Like that. And you'd have to shut up because we all had them. And it was uh, coming back on you. Like, What's so... going on back there? And like, nothing. But it would fucking, no. the skin right here would burn so That sounds like bad. that would hurt. We used to do that one all the time. That's like elementary school. We were giving each other Indian burns. Do you remember that? Yeah. yeah. Why were we doing that? I don't Why know. Why were we rubbing? It was, it was like. It was aggressively until you it's like, make do you want to go to it was a question. It was like, do you want to go to China or do you want to go to India? Yeah. And oh, I think that what it was. Yeah. <laughs> and what happened with China? I think they just pinched you. <laughs> so racist. <laughs> and then they get so racist. <laughs> That's what happened in school. You go to China, you get pinched. You go to India, you get You're burned. Stay in America. Burned, yeah. Wow. Wow. We've been getting fucking conditioned since the beginning of time. Did you ever get um, chicken pox? Yeah. No. That's why I have this. Yeah, scar on my too. nose. What, you guys both have chicken pox scars? Yeah. yeah. I have one right scar. there. <laughs> on my I never got it. It's like a little hole. My whole face is a chicken pox I'm scar. Afraid, I'm afraid of getting it as an adult. You're yeah, good. it's crazy Did that you've you get never the vaccine? Gone. Yeah. You're oh, good. yeah, you're fine. Man, we used to get it so fucking bad. And we would have chicken pox parties. You know, like, if like oh, somebody he has in the neighborhood it. got it, like, go spend a night over at Joe's house. Everybody get it and get it over with. Yeah, like, really? Yeah. yeah. Not me. My mom tried to avoid it, and I got it. You're not going to avoid it. I got not the pox. Did you ever have lice? <sighs> yeah. N you know what's funny? We got we lucky did. with that. We never had the hair lice, but... It's we, easier with boys. We played indoor soccer, and we were fearless, so we would slide tackle on that old, dirty turf. Uh-huh. And I remember one time my dad... <laughs> 
I have a twin brother, right? So he's fraternal, taller, skinnier, and I got a younger brother. So the three of us go up my dad to this dermatologist. Because at the time, also, we're in high school, and we have acne and everything. And my brother kept itching and stuff. And so I walk in. It's my turn. And my dad's like, bad news. We got mites. And, yeah. I, and I had never, I didn't even know uh, what the fuck, you know what I mean? I yeah. went, termites? And the dermatologist lady, she's sitting right I'm now. Itchy, and my yeah, dad's just it. like. Me too. Are you fucking serious right now? I go, what? He's like, why Why would we be talking about termites at a dermatologist? I was like, I don't know what we're <laughs> talking about right now. He's like, they're like body crabs. I was like, ew, what? Oh. And then we had to go home because my brother had them. We had to like wash everything. No one could spend the night for like a week and no. a half. I remember that. Like, Dude. We were supposed to have a sleepover that night. Like, no. Yeah, you can't come over, man. We got mites. I have a big fear of bed bugs because of touring. And yeah. I've, I got them like eight years ago. Oh, I can't. And I'm allergic to the bites, too. Listen, these days now, you know, when you go to a hotel, they're not changing your sheets every day anymore. You have to request it. It's got to be. So we're definitely getting dirty. Dude, when I went to a fucking hotel, they gave me someone else's room. I opened the key. No. There was a person's luggage in there. And then I t went to the front desk and I said, you gave me someone else's dirty room. They could have been in there. Yeah. Luckily, they weren't. And then to make it up to me, they gave me a can of Mountain Dew. That's it? And they say, here, we're sorry about that. And I was like, I don't drink this shit. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, what a consolation <laughs> prize! That's mm. that's Chicago, baby. <laughs> um, that's our podcast. That's our episode, dude. This was great. Thank this you. This was so fun. Thank you so much for yeah, coming on. Yeah. Where can people find you? Um, you can find me on my website at ryansickler.com, on all social media at Ryan Sickler. Come see me on tour. Tickets are on my website. Come watch my podcast, The Honeydew and The Way Back. You need to come do The Way Back. I need to. Mm hmm. And uh, um, why'd you look at me like that? I'm coming. You better come. I will. I will. <laughs> I already did it. I already I'll did it. it. Um, and yeah, thank you for having me. <laughs> yeah, thanks for coming. Shanky, what about you? You can find me at Princess Shank on Instagram. You can find me here every Monday on this bitch and every Wednesday on Shank. And all my show dates are at Princess Shank on Instagram. What about you? Uh, KimCongdon.com for show dates, The Kim Congdon Takeover, um, The Magic Prank Show on Netflix, and uh, my. Uh, special on YouTube called Childless Milf. And yeah, we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.